Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. We just returned from another fabulous yoga retreat in Nosara, Costa Rica. And in a matter of days, we're going to be announcing our next one. So if you're not on our mailing list, make sure that you get on the mailing list through our website, fiveparksyoga.com. I would like to um, thank all of you who subscribe and support Five Parks Yoga. If you're not a supporter and are interested, again, go back to fiveparksyoga.com slash support. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and we are trying out a new studio space today here in Colorado. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. This is the first class in this new space. We'll be filming here and as the weather gets warmer outside in our five parks here in Arvada, Colorado. Today's class is going to be a little bit of everything, which is always my favorite style of class. So we'll do some breath work and warm up, flow, standing poses, balancing poses, stretching poses, and then of course a beautiful Shavasana at the end. So we're going to build the energy, a little bit of heat, some good stretching and relaxation. So a little bit of everything. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so let's lay down on our backs, bring the soles of your feet together to touch. So you're in a Supta Baddha Konasana, a reclined butterfly pose. We'll start with some deep breathing. So you can bring your hands to rest alongside your body with your palms facing up, or you can bring one hand to your low belly and one hand to your heart, just so you have a connection to your body as you begin to deepen your inhales and your exhales. You can gently close your eyes, relax your jaw, and let's start with a deep cleansing breath. So breathe in through your nose, fill up from your low belly, into your ribs, into your heart center, and then a big open mouth exhale. You can close your lips and begin some deep breathing in and out through your nose. You can welcome your ujjayi pranayama, so making your breath audible. Gentle constriction to the back of the throat so you can hear the sound of your breath as you inhale and then hear the sound of your breath as you exhale. Just settling into your space here onto your mat, preparing yourself for your physical practice and remembering that the breath is the foundation of yoga practice. So connecting to your breath first so that you can maintain your steady rhythmic breathing throughout your class. So let's take five more deep ujjayi breaths here. Lips closed, breathing in and out through your nose, focusing on the length and the quality of your breath. Continue with your long, slow, steady breathing as we begin to move and warm up the entire spine. So you can gently draw your knees in toward your chest. Take a loose grip on your knees. So it doesn't need to be a full knees to chest pose and then start to draw some circles on the ceiling. So just loosening up your low back. Take two more in this direction. So toes, heels, and knees are side by side, but loose grip. And then just pause in reverse directions for five, four, three, two, 
one, and then come back to a center position. Bring your arms out to a capital T with your palms facing down, and then gently release your right, your knees to the right. You can set them down on the floor if you need to stagger them or just take a different um, supine twist, reclined twist position. That is up to you. And then we'll come back through center as we breathe in and then release your knees to the left as you breathe out. Knees stacked or staggered, your choice. Just loosening up the spine. And of course, you're loosening up and opening up the shoulders and the chest here. And then go ahead, bring your knees back to center. And then once again, just a loose grip on the knees. Just draw them in towards your chest and then start to roll the length of your spine about three times, back and forth. And then this next time as you come forward, just cross over your ankles and make your way to a tabletop position, positioning your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And let's take three rounds of cat and cow, continuing to warm up the front and back side of the body. So breathe in, arch your spine, breathe out, round. So connecting your breath to your movements. Again, breathing in, exhaling to round. And one more time. Inhale, coming to cow. Exhale, rounding to cat. And then come back to a neutral tabletop position. And from here, go ahead and tuck your toes under. We're gonna come into our first downward facing dog of class. So just taking your time as you begin to loosen up the hamstrings and the entire backside of the body. So make sure that your head is nice and heavy so you have no tension in your neck. And then just pedal your legs, bending and straightening one leg at a time, releasing your heels down towards your mat. Continuing with your deep breathing, make sure you can hear your breath going in and out through your nose, the foundation of this practice in all postures. And we'll just stay here for one more breath. And then you can release both heels down towards your mat. Take one big inhale and exhale. Look forward on your next breath in, come to a high plank position. And remember the alternative here is to release your knees to your mat so you can have your knees up. Nice flat back, head in line with your spine, or again, knees on the floor. And we'll just hold here, just building a little heat in the core for three and two. And one, you can shift forward onto your toes and slowly lower down onto your belly. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. As you breathe in, come up to a low lift cobra. Just lifting through the crown of your head as you breathe in and then exhaling nice and slow, rolling all the way down into your, until your nose taps on your mat and then inhale, lift and exhale, release. One more time, rolling cobra. Breathe in and exhale. Now we're gonna come into another cobra alternative. So you're gonna bring your hands out, arms out, tent your fingers, arms are bent as you breathe in. Press all the way up. You don't need to straighten your arms all the way, but you're gonna come up into like a high cobra variation. And from here, just bring your chin to your right shoulder, bring your chin to your left shoulder, bring your chin back to neutral, bring your chin to your chest, breathe in, lift through the crown of your head and exhale. Make your way all the way back down, tapping your nose to your mat, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, tucking your toes under, pressing up to high plank, and then exhaling to downward facing dog. Breathe in, 
And as you exhale, look toward the front of your mat and make your way to the front of your mat and come into ragdoll position. So legs are bent, torsos resting on your thighs. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Let your head dangle, no tension in your neck. And then option here to sway side to side, maybe bending and straightening one leg at a time. One more breath here. Come back to center. Release your hands down towards your mat. And as you breathe in, come up to a halfway lift, lengthening your spine, looking down at your mat. And then exhale, come into standing forward fold, Uttanasana. So this time you're straightening your legs a little bit more, getting into the hamstrings. You can have your hands on the floor, your shins, maybe the backs of your heels drawing the crown of your head a little bit closer to the floor. And then we're gonna take a nice slow roll up to standing. So very slowly, arms are heavy, head is heavy, rolling up. And once you come, to standing, make your way to mountain pose. So reaching your fingertips down toward the floor, palms facing out, triceps are nice and engaged. Gaze is out in front, either down at the floor or out on the horizon or somewhere near you. And then as you breathe in, go ahead and reach up to tall mountain, reaching your fingertips all the way up to the ceiling or the sky. And then as you exhale, cactus your arms, drawing your elbows, down toward the floor, and then inhale, rise up to tall mountain. As you breathe out, hinging from your hips, swan diving forward, come down to standing forward fold. As you breathe in, come up to a halfway lift. As you breathe out, come into a standing forward fold. Plant your hands, step back to high plank pose. As you exhale, shift forward onto your toes and then lower down either chaturanga or all the way down to your mat. Flip over onto the top of your feet and then come up to upward facing dog or low lift cobra, which we've been to before. So your choice and then Stretch back into downward facing dog. Take a full breath here. On your next breath in, come forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, standing forward fold. Breathe in, tall mountain. Breathe out, standing forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, and breathe out. Step, walk, float back through chaturanga or down onto your belly. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Take one long inhale and exhale. Look forward to the front of your mat. Come forward as you breathe in and exhale forward fold. Rise up as you breathe in and standing forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow through chaturanga or your variation. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Big inhale and exhale. Look forward, come forward as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, standing forward fold. Breathe in, rise up to tall mountain. Breathe out, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One full breath here. Look forward, inhale, come to the front of your mat. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow through chaturanga. Breathe in, cobra or upward facing dog. Breathe out, downward facing dog. One full breath here.
On your next breath in, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, round your spine, bring your knee toward your nose, come high up on your left toes, lifting your heel. Breathe in, three-legged dog, lifting your right leg high. Exhale, round knee to nose and step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, come up to like a halfway lift in this low lunge position. And then as you exhale, release your left knee down to the floor. Take the top of your left foot to the floor. As you breathe in, bring your arms up overhead. And as you breathe out, interlace your hands. Take your hands onto your right knee and then press into your right knee, lifting your chest, lifting your chin, looking up. And then exhale, bring both hands back down onto your mat. Tuck your toes under, lift your knee. As you breathe in, lift your right leg up and then open your hip, bend your leg. Stretching out your left inner thigh. You can circle your ankle here. A couple times in both directions. And then straighten out your right leg level off your hips, and then just release back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. As you breathe out, round your spine, bring your knee to your nose. Breathe in, three-legged dog. And then exhale, round, bring your left knee toward your nose and then step your left foot between your hands. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine, look out past your left toes, and then exhale, release your right knee down onto your mat. As you breathe in, lift your arms up overhead, and then interlace your fingers, and then bring your hands onto your left knee. Press into your left knee, lift your chin, open your chest, just release into your right hip flexor. As you breathe in, lift your arms up overhead, and then exhale, bring your hands back to your mat. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee up off of your mat, and then inhale, come up to three-legged dog, stretching your left leg high, and then opening your hip, bending your leg. Holding here, stretching out your right inner thigh, opening up your left hip flexor. You can take some circles with your ankle. I guess with your foot for your ankle <laughs> in both directions. and then level out your hips, straighten your left leg, and then as you exhale, come back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg high. As you exhale, step forward to low lunge. This time on your inhale, rise all the way up to crescent lunge. Lifting your arms up overhead, holding here, lowering your shoulders away from your ears, lifting up through your fingertips, your left heel is lifted, you're holding steady, nice steady gaze out in front of you. Breathe in. As you exhale, come into warrior two. So planting your left heel on the floor, opening up, palms facing down, shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Hold here for another full breath. As you breathe in, reverse your warrior, sliding your left hand down your left leg, reaching your right arm up and back. And then exhale, just windmilling your arms back down onto your mat. Step back, high plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Full breath here. On your next breath in, lift your left leg up. Big step forward, low lunge. As you breathe in, rise up crescent lunge. Hold here, lifting up through your fingertips, lowering down through your shoulders. Right heel is lifted up off your mat. Nice strong legs, breathe in. As you breathe out, come into warrior two and hold here. So opening your chest to the side, lowering your shoulders away from your ears, palms facing down. Gaze across your left front fingertips. As you breathe in, reverse your warrior. Slide your right hand down your right leg. Lift up and back with your left arm. And then exhale, windmill your arms down. Coming into a low lunge position. High plank as you breathe in. Chaturanga as you breathe out. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Breathe in. And 
and out. So let's do that again, breath to movement, and we'll add on. So breathe in, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. So bringing either your right el elbow to your right knee or your right fingertips down toward the floor or a block, lifting your left arm up. Exhale here. Inhale, come up to five-pointed star. Palms face out. Toes are at a 45 degree angle. And then exhale, come into prayer squat. Hold here. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. So you have a nice long straight spine. Another full breath here. As you exhale, bring your hands to your knees. Thumbs are on the insides of your knees. Breathe in. As you exhale, bring your left shoulder in and then just sink into your hips and twist. Come back to center as you breathe in. Exhale, bring your right shoulder in. Look to the left and twist. Come back to center. Bring your hands back to your heart and then bring your shoulders back up over your hips. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two, facing the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, just windmill your arms down, planting into low lunge, step back, high plank, chaturanga, upward dog, and back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Okay, breath to movement. So lift your left leg up, step forward to low lunge, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. So either left elbow to your left knee, left fingertips toward the floor. Walk, lift your right arm up. Inhale, five pointed star. And then right away, exhale down into prayer squat. Now you're gonna circle your hands down through and make a big circle. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. Inhale, star. Bring the palms of your hands together. Exhale, squat. Last time, inhale, star. And this time, exhale, you're gonna bring your heels behind your toes, hinge from your hips and come into standing straddle splits. You can have your hands on the floor, blocks, up on your fingertips, or you can release your, uh, the top of your head down towards your mat. Just getting a nice stretch here in the backs of the legs. Again, letting your head hang heavy if you're all the way folded forward, so no tension in your neck here. Take one more full breath. Inhale, rise up to five-pointed star. So again, you're gonna bring your toes back out to a 45-degree angle. Bring your arms up, palms face out, and then exhale, return to warrior two facing the front of your mat. Slow lunge in your front leg. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down or windmill them down. Back to low lunge, step back, high plank. Chaturanga, you know you can always skip this section of flow and just go right back to downward facing dog. It's your practice, so take care of what, what works best in your body. Just following your breath. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up. And once again, step forward, low lunge. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And this time, exhale, either come into side angle, but if you have half moon in your practice, we're gonna balance on the right foot, lift the left leg up, lift your left arm up toward the ceiling. Fingers nice and active, toes flexed back. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna step gently into prayer squat. So release your left foot to the floor, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, five-pointed star. 
Then exhale, standing straddle splits, heels behind your toes, come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, and then walk your hands three steps forward, and then press your hips back. This is wide-legged down dog. So release into your shoulders, release into your chest. Take one more full breath here and wide-legged down dog. Exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Halfway lift again. As you exhale, come into a side lunge on your right leg, so toward the front of your mat. Hold here for another breath. You can take your hands to your heart if you want to balance. Keep your hands at your heart or place them on the floor and then side lunge onto your left leg toward the back of your mat. Take a full breath here. And then you're going to rotate all the way around to low lunge at the front of your mat. So coming onto your right foot, lifting your left heel up off the floor. Step back, high plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Lift your left leg up. As you breathe out, step forward, low lunge. Inhale up to crescent lunge. Been here before. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale back to side angle, or if you have half moon in your practice, it's a balancing posture. Step onto your left leg, lift your right leg up, open your hips, lift your right arm up. Nice, steady breath. Again, you can be holding side angle if that is what's in your practice today. Okay, take one more breath in and then we're gonna take a nice light step into prayer squat. So bringing your hands to your heart, sinking down into your hips. Breathe in, rise up, five point and star. Breathe out, hinge from your hips, come all the way down into standing straddle splits. Breathe in, halfway lift and pause here. Bring your left hand right below your face, so it's centered. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Keep your hips in line with one another, so you're not rotating your hips, you're just rotating your spine. Exhale, bring your right hand right underneath your face. Inhale, lift your left arm up without rotating your hips. You're just rotating through your spine. Breathe in here, exhale, release back to standing straddle splits. One more time, halfway lift. And then as you exhale, side lunge to the front of your mat. So onto your left leg. And then we're gonna hold here for another breath. If you wanna balance, take your hands to your heart. Otherwise, keep your hands on the floor to support you in your balance. And then we're gonna just slide our way over to the back of our mat into a side lunge on our right leg. And again, hands at your heart or on the floor. And then from here, you're just gonna rotate your way to low lunge at the front of your mat. So your right heel lifts up off the floor. Nice, strong, low lunge with your left leg, left knee over your left ankle, and then step back, high plank, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Breathe in, and out. Look forward to the front of your mat. Step, walk, float all the way to standing forward fold at the front of your mat. As you breathe in, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. So lower your hips, lift your arms, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep your arms back and then lift your heels for balance chair. Inhale, release your heels, rise up tall mountain as you breathe in, and then exhale, standing forward fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. 
Another vinyasa, so step back, high plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. And you can always just step back to down dog as an option. So breathe in and out. Look forward towards your hands, and this time, as you inhale, you're gonna step walk or float your feet to the outside of your hands. So you're gonna come into crow squat. So sink your hips down, elbows towards your knees. You can sit on a block if you have a block. You can keep your hips up if that's where you're at today, or just sink down. Bring your hands to your heart, thumbs toward your chest, reach through the crown of your head, so we're releasing into the hips, the low back, and then stretching out the knees, the ankles. It's just a great pose overall. If you can practice this a lot, just, I don't know, sit in front of the TV <laughs> and crow squat. <laughs> it's really, really good for you. It can be intense and it takes time, patience, and practice. So we're gonna take another breath here. All right, place your hands onto your mat if they're not already. Keep your right foot right where it is, and then step your left foot back into a lunge position. So you're in a wide-legged low lunge with your toes at a 45 degree angle. Bring your left knee down onto your mat. You can take the top of your left foot onto the floor. You can hold here, or you can come down onto your forearms. <laughs> In either position, take another breath. If you're down on your forearms, come back up onto your hands and then take your right hand to your right knee. And you're just gonna gently press your right knee open and twist your right shoulder, or open your right shoulder and twist your spine. And maybe look back toward your left foot or you can just look straight forward. Just keep your neck in a nice position so you're not straining it. And then bring your right hand back down onto your mat. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, and then come all the way back to three-legged dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Open your hip and bend your leg. And if you wanna flip your dog, you can just take your right foot to the floor, bring your right arm up and back, look back. And then bring your right hand back to your mat. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, and then exhale, bring your right foot forward. You're back into a low lunge. Inhale up to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, standing straddle splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side lunge to the front of your mat. Side lunge to the back of your mat. Low lunge to the front of your mat. Step back high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog. Look toward your hands. Step walk or float to crow squat. Lower your hips down. Bring your hands to your heart. You can hold crow squat here, or if you have crow in your practice and want to practice it, bring your hands to your mat, heel toe your feet together, bring your knees to the backs of your arms, and then maybe lift one or both feet up off the floor. Hold it as long as you want, or continue holding crow squat for just two more breaths. Bring your hands to your mat. Keep your left foot where it is. Step your right foot back into a lunge position. So you're in wide-legged low lunge. Bring your right knee to the floor. Top of your right foot to the floor. Stay up on your hands or lower down onto your forearms. Deep Ujjayi breathing as you hold the pose. <laughs> 
If you're not there, come back up onto your hands and then keep your right hand planted on your mat. Bring your left hand to your left knee and then just gently press your left knee open. Rotate your shoulder open and twist in your spine. Looking over your shoulder toward your right toes or just looking straight ahead. And then rotate back, place your hand, left hand back onto your mat, tuck your toes under, lift your knee. Inhale, three-legged dog. Open your hip, bend your leg. If you wanna flip your dog, just place your left foot on the floor, lift your left arm up and back, look back. And then place your left hand back down onto your mat, lift your left leg high, Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Inhale up to crescent lunge, and then back to our balancing pose. So come onto your left foot. You can take airplane lunge, or you can take airplane. Lifting your right foot up off the floor, balancing on your left leg. If your right leg is lifted, place it gently back on the floor. Inhale up to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to star. Exhale, standing straddle splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side lunge to the front of your mat. Side lunge to the back of your mat. Low lunge to the front of your mat. Step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Take a full breath here. And then release onto your shins, knees wide, toes together, extended child's pose. Take three. And then rest here into extended child's pose. Take three deep breaths in and out through your nose. Listen to the sound of your breath. And one more full inhale and exhale. All right, if your elbows are lifted in extended child's pose, place your elbows down on your mat. And you're just gonna kind of slide your way forward. So nose, chin, chest, and then press up onto your hands. Bring your, keep your toes touching and then bring your toes up toward your head. So your knees are still wide, your arms are nice and long and straight, but you're not locking out through your elbows. And then press back to child's pose. And then once again, just slide your way forward. Nose, chin, chest, toes come up, press up to straight arms, Reach your head back, reach your toes toward the back of your head, and then exhale, extended child's pose. And then from here, walk your hands back, and then come up onto your shins, bring your knees together, and now separate your feet. So kind of the opposite position, and you're gonna sit back into hero pose. So in hero pose, you can sit on a block or a bolster, blanket, towel, or you can sit your hips down onto the floor. Sit upright, or if you want, you can recline into hero pose. So bringing your hands behind you, coming down onto your elbows, maybe making your way all the way down onto your back. And just stretching out through your quads your knees, your shins, your ankles. Great pose. If you're reclined, come all the way back up to hero pose, and then you're gonna bring your right leg straight out in front of you. We're gonna take half hero forward fold. So you're gonna 
Settle your sitting bones flat to the floor so you're not leaning off to the side. All right, so reaching your arms up overhead, half hero forward fold. You can reach your fingers toward your toes or you can walk your hands down your mat toward your foot. Forward fold over your right leg. Now an alternative, if this is really too much on your left knee, um, after hero pose, the alternative is to take your left foot to your right your thigh and fold. Either way. Then you can walk your hands back towards your hips so you're sitting nice and upright. And then from here, we're going to take heron pose. So you're going to bend your right leg, take your hands around your right foot, and then reach your right leg in the direction of straight. It can be bent. And again, you can be in half hero on your left leg, or you can have your left foot in like a seated position. Take one more breath in heron pose. And then we're going to come into half hero, half lotus twist. So bring your left, your right foot to your left hip. Or again, you can set your right shin on the floor. Reach your arms up overhead just to stretch nice and long to get a nice deep twist here. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind, and you can look out over your shoulder. Complete your exhale here. Unwind from your twist. Release your right leg long on your mat. And then ooh, release that left leg from half hero. We're going to come into seated forward fold. So again, you can stretch your arms up. Take a nice deep breath in to lengthen your spine. And then exhale, reaching your fingers toward your toes or walking your hands down your mat and folding over both legs. from your forward fold. Alrighty, so we're gonna come in onto the other side. So you're gonna bring your right leg back into half hero. So bring it back here and remember the alternative is to bring your right foot to your left inner thigh. So either option is available to you. My right knee is still a little bit tight so I'm gonna bring my right foot to my left inner thigh, reach your arms up, and then exhale, fold over your left leg. So you have to take care of your body, take care of your injuries, and listen. So if your breath gets really tight and you're just like, oh, this is not working for me, it's not worth it. So find an alternative and take that alternative, just focusing on your breath and the stretch. So it doesn't have to look the way mine looks or the way anyone else's looks. So release from your forward fold, and we're going to take heron pose. So you're going to bend your left leg, heel flat to the floor. Take your hands underneath your left foot. Lift your left heel up off the floor. Bring it in the direction of straight. It's fine if it's not straight. Just working in that direction, lifting your chest, looking out past your toes. Nice, strong arms holding on to your left foot. And then from here, we're gonna take half hero, half lotus twist. So bring your left foot to your right inner thigh. If that doesn't work for you, you can place your shin on the floor. Breathe in, lift your arms up to stretch your spine nice and long, and then breathe out twisting, bringing your right hand to your left knee, your left hand out behind you, looking back. One more breath here. Release from your twist. We're gonna bring 
both legs out in front, just for one breath in forward fold. So lift up, exhale, fold. Breathe in. Complete your exhale. Release from your fold. Come all the way up, straight spine. Bend both legs, take your hands out behind you. Place your feet flat on the floor. Reach your arms forward, lower down onto your back. Rolling down, nice and slow. Once you're down on your back, bring your arms alongside your body. We're gonna take a back bend here. So I'm gonna tuck you into bridge pose. So press into your heels, lift your hips up. You can keep your hands where they are, arms flat to the floor, or you can take chest expansion, interlacing your hands underneath you, rolling onto your shoulders, lifting your hips a little bit higher. And you know your own practice, obviously. Another option is wheel pose. You can press up to wheel instead of bridge. Just wanna open the chest, open the heart. Get that nice arch, that back bend. And then slowly release down, 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 down until your hips rest on the floor. We've not done a pigeon in class today, so let's get that nice hip opener. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, lift your left foot up off the floor, hold on to the back of your left thigh or your left shin. Draw your left knee into your chest. Place your left foot back down onto the floor, and then we'll take pigeon twist. So you can bring your right foot to the left. If you do not like this variation of twist, bring your arms to goal post or T. You can stack or stagger your legs, kind of like we did at the beginning of class. Complete your exhale. Come back to center, release your right foot back down onto the floor. And then we're gonna take pigeon on the other side, reclined pigeon. So crossing your left ankle over your right knee, lifting your right foot up off the floor, holding onto the back of your right thigh or your right shin, drawing your right knee in. Slow and steady breathing up until the very end of class. Release your right foot down onto the floor, pigeon twist. So bringing your left foot to the right, placing it on the floor, bringing your arms to goal post or T. Again, any variation is welcome. I just want you to take a reclined twist before we close up our practice. Complete your exhale here. Come back to center, uncross your ankle, place your left foot back on the floor. All right, we're gonna take Apanasana, which is knees to chest pose. So bring your knees back into your chest, heels, toes, knees side by side. This time we're taking a tight squeeze. So you're gonna wrap your arms around your knees, taking opposite hand to opposite wrist or elbow, just squeezing in as tight as you can, continuing your deep breathing. And from here, release your feet back down onto the floor. And then any other posture you wanna take before our final posture, Shavasana, go ahead and do that now. And when you're ready, take your time, we're gonna come into Shavasana. So extending your legs long, bringing your feet wide, letting your toes fall open, resting your arms alongside your body, palms face up. Arguably the best, most important posture of your yoga practice. So make sure you take time for it. We're gonna to close together with a cleansing breath. So breathe in, fill up belly, ribs, chest, like we did at the beginning of class, hold it at the top. And then open mouth, exhale. Now you can let your breathing practice go. So just coming back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Just take a little 
mental body scan, working your way up from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. You can do it at your own pace, releasing any tension along the way. Wiggle out anything that you're holding on to, just coming into a state of relaxation and release. Softening your face, your jaw, your brow, forehead, top of your head. Please, if you have the time, hold the space. Continue to release and relax. Before you come up to a seated position, whatever time frame that is for you, just take a moment in gratitude for taking the time for this amazing, energetic, releasing practice. Hold both things, all the heat and the energy, the relax, the release, the stretch. And just thank your amazing strong body for showing up in whatever capacity it could today. Thank you so much for joining me. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of you, namaste. Namaste.